Hey there, friends, and welcome to yet another episode of the Smash Hit series, The PAT. As always, I'm your magnanimous host, Pat Gunther, and we've got a great show for you today. From the free agency frenzy to MLB pitchers living out of minivans, let's get this party started with The PAT. Flynn will hold, and it's a fake. They give it to David, and he heads for the corner. All right, guys, let's get right into it with a great story from Her Majesty's side piece, Andy Murray. In an interview last week, Murray had some questionable comments about teammate Dom Inglot's love life. Yeah, Dom's got, got a little girlfriend on the go here in Glasgow. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's maybe celebrate with her this evening. <laughs> he's lying to me in this. Because yeah. I actually have a girlfriend who's going to be watching this. So. <laughs> All that bombshells. <laughs> I can't believe you've just landed him in it, Andy. Totally not cool, Andy. Don't you think that if your buddy had a Glaswegian girlfriend on the side, he'd want to keep it under wraps? I mean, these women are incredibly important to athletes' livelihoods. Just ask Drizzy Drake. This goes out to all my side pieces, side pieces, side pieces. This goes out to all my side pieces. You know that you'll never be the main one. City to city, I see you and we're in the same. Besides, how would you feel if your darling Kim found out about you and Queen Elizabeth? I don't think she'd be very happy or safe knowing about your actions in the royal chambers. So Andy, I'm going to suggest that you operate under the don't ask, don't tell policy from here on out. Now news out of spring training, as Toronto Blue Jays' top pitching prospect Daniel Norris was recently featured in an ESPN article detailing his bizarre off-season regimen. Norris spends his off-seasons traveling and living out of the van, mostly searching for good hiking and surfing spots. It's definitely not a traditional lifestyle for a professional athlete. Many spend off-seasons working out and training. But Norris explains that's what he's doing too, just not in the same way as you do in a gym. What stuck out the most? Probably the fact that he's living in a van down by the river. That's right, the Blue Jays' top dog in the farm system, lives in a 78 Westphalia camper. It's like Emil Hirsch grew four inches, learned how to pump a 96 mile an hour heater, and wasn't a pretentious hipster. I really don't know what I'd rather do, to be completely honest. Play for the hapless Toronto Blue Jays or spend my nights sleeping in a Walmart parking lot next to a machete and a Bunsen burner. But I wish you the best of luck making the Jays rotation, Grizzly Man. Now. Yesterday at 4 p.m., NFL free agency started, and boy, were things off to a bang. It was just like watching an episode of The Bachelor, except Darrell Revis and Indomitian Sue weren't wasted off of Chardonnay making out in a hot tub, to my knowledge. Tweeter IanW underscore 32 said, only way the Saints trading Jimmy Graham is if it's for Gronk or 66 first round picks and was actually pretty wrong about that. I'm nearly positive that Seattle sent Jimmy Graham a single red rose after he was taken back by their coffee date that turned into some, into some light afternoon foreplay. And of course, there's Revis, who's now been named CEO of Johnson & Johnson as per his insane 70 mil contract, of which 39 is guaranteed. Additionally, with the money he plans to buy an actual island across from Richard Branson's where Mr. Manhattan can work on his promising rap career a la Kanye in Hawaii. I got this crazy kind of feeling, Mac. I'm in the burg and the spotlight's on my back. No pressure on my back. I aim high, swag on full attack. Remember back in the days, house party kid and play, that's how we play. You know we got chicks, that's where they lay. Come on, girl, you can't stay. Cause it's Friday night, no job and I'm looking right. 
With just one day gone, I can only imagine the insanity that the ensuing, monthly, ensuing months will actually provide the lowly New York Jets. Of course, this is all after once they draft Marcus Mariota with the sixth pick in May. But with the LSU men's basketball team rolling after a huge win at Arkansas, it's only natural that fourth down shows some love to the hometown Tigers. Now, the last time made, the Tigers made the tournament, Barack Obama was a happy, wide-eyed new guy in the White House, and Ashton Kutcher had the world's most Twitter followers, and a pound of bacon only cost $3.19. The good old days. But what's 2015's team have that 09's didn't? Tattoo enthusiast and Arkansas game hero, Keith Hornsby. Tiger TV's Pat Gunther here with Mr. Clutch, LSU's Keith Hornsby. Keith, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Although the weather is a little bit down today, you know, it's nice outside. Pretty good day for me. Temperature-wise, I do enjoy it, but, you know, forecast, I could always do with 65 and sunny. But I just have a couple of questions for you today, so let's get started if you're ready. All right. So I got to know, after hitting a huge shot like you did against Arkansas, what were you listening to prior to the game? Because you were pretty jacked up after that three. Prior to the game? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. You know what? I was honestly listening to a soundtrack. I was listening to the, uh, is it from the Imitation Game soundtrack, which is a movie that came out this year. And this, uh, this I think the main theme to it. Pretty good. You should check it out. I've seen it. I enjoyed it. Thank you. That's good. It <laughs> came on shuffle actually, so I, I like that. It's very good. nice. Like an artist. He's the maestro. So Keith, obviously a musical background in your family. I've got to ask you, do you prefer Tupac's Changes or your father's original? Well, most people in my generation would prefer changes, but I, I think I'll go with my dad's you original. Give the he, he, he set the stage for it. He so. did. I like it. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today, unfortunately. Check out what sandwiches I'm eating for lunch this week on Twitter, at Pat Gunther, and like the PAT on Facebook while you're stalking your ex's picks from Barcelona 2010. Sayonara, party people.